I, I, I really thank God that he came in history in, in a space and time and a unique moment in the fullness of time. God sent his son historically. But now also God sends his son personally. His son who died on the cross, but he also three days later, he, he was raised from the dead. And he's the only man who was raised from the dead and he walked the earth for 40 days. Miracles happened, amazing things happened. He was reunited with his disciples. Many had run away from him. They came back, they bowed down. And, and this is the great story that many of us in this audience and many of you on TV have seen before and have heard about and know and personally experienced. But I just had an experience the other day. I was with a, a taxi cab driver and I was stuck in the front seat because three people were in the back. And all New Yorkers know that that's what you have to get in the front seat when you have three in the back. So I was in the front seat with this man and I was sharing Jesus with him and he stopped me. It was almost like he stopped driving. He grabbed my hand and he reached over and he said, who is this man, Jesus? And he pulled over and as they got out, I paid him a little bit extra because we took another 10 minutes and I told him who this man, Jesus is. And this man, Jesus, is alive today. He's risen from the grave. He's alive. And he not only, Jesus not only comes in history, but Jesus comes to you personally. And that's one of the great things that I love about our Savior, is that he comes to each and every one of us, knowing our baggage, knowing our problems, knowing our repeat cycles, knowing our upbringing, knowing our socioeconomic barriers and 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 he comes and he says I've come to set the captives free I've come to set you free spiritually I've come to set you free emotionally I've come to set you free mentally I've come to, to be the one who breaks you out of generations of being in prison to yourself being in prison to your sin we all know that our greatest enemy is ourself so we're gonna pray right now and wherever you are anywhere in the world uh, God cares about you. He knows you by name. He knows every detail about you. And he's going to come to you personally tonight. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight for your great grace that's touched us in so many unique and individual and personal ways. And we thank you tonight, Lord, that you are well able to reclaim millions and billions of people on this planet who are hungry and they have nothing to eat. They're thirsty. They have nothing to drink. And Lord, your words of invitation are all who are thirsty, come and drink. I've got a drink from the water of life so that you'll never thirst again. And we're praying tonight that wherever people are, Lord, that you would just come and touch and open their hearts and give them this great gift of salvation and eternal life. I pray right now that the gift of faith would be given out all over this viewership, all over the world, that the gift of faith would come, that Jesus, you'd show up in thoughts and in dreams and in visions, that you'd show up in unexpected places, Lord, that you'd be right there to meet every need. We pray tonight for the gift of salvation to be poured out all over this world. In Jesus' name we pray. And then why don't you pray as well? Why don't you pray as well? There are just yes. so, many, so many that need to be touched, and I pray again, please. Just as Ron was praying, I just got the sense that there, so often we feel like somehow we have to get good enough to approach a holy God. And the Lord just wants you tonight to know that it's not about you getting good enough or cleaned up enough to come to God. That right now, with your regrets, your mistakes, your shame in your life, the guilt that we've all experienced, that is the perfect plate, the perfect offering to bring to a God who desires nothing more than to free you from yourself. Lord God, I pray whoever that word belongs to tonight would be willing to humble themselves and come as shameful as they feel and say, Lord, here am I, a sinner in desperate need. Lord, take my sin and renew me. Oh God, thank you that you say that you, as far as the east is from the, the west, so far are our transgressions removed from us in your grace and in your mercy. And God, I'm asking that you would visit our viewers tonight, visit those watching, and Lord, touch them in a way that frees them from themselves. Lord, I declare that liberty is coming, that freedom is coming, that new vision, that hope is stirring in their hearts, that where there's been hopelessness, I speak hope. Where there's been no courage, I speak courage. Where fear has sought to render you powerless, I speak yes. boldness yes. in Jesus' name. That this is a new day, this is a new year for you, that we forget what is behind, we press on for what lies ahead, and that hope is coming, refreshment is coming, and your best days are yet to come. In Jesus' name, amen.
<laughs> you know, it was about, it was, over, it was over 25 years ago when I first went on TBN and going out to these studios and seeing these very sincere people, Paul and Jan Crouch, and now their, their family, entire family, and, and they, the, the sincerity of wanting people to know Christ mm -hmm. extends beyond the show. There's telephone numbers, and if you've ever been out in, in, into a TV and studio, especially out in California, there's prayer people. The, 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 the number on the screen, you can call people. They are the sweetest people. They'll pray with you. And you can call that number. You may just want to call a friend. There's somebody that's probably been, been talking to you about Jesus, and you've been either running from them. Now you cannot have to run from them. You can run to them and say, hey, what? I just prayed. I just heard something. Find somebody. Go to church. Find some church where you can. You, don't, you can sense the life there. You can sense the love there. Uh, New York City, it's Morningstar New York. Many great churches. We'll mention some more that are uh, even pastors here tonight. But Morningstar New York is a great church. You meet Sunday morning, Sunday night. We hope to tell more people about it. If I lived here, that's where I'd come. I do come up here and go to the church too <laughs> now and then. But anyway, thank you so much. Can we give them some encouragement? Thank you so much. I'm going to, I want you to.